Good morning friends and welcome to the pre-market view. US markets have taken a pause after a run-up of almost about 6 to 7 trading sessions and they continue to be at the record high level. Uh, the jobless claims data continues to surprise the market and now also uh, they fell uh, quite a bit. So uh, there is some amount of positive uh, momentum because of that. European markets were mixed uh, FTSE and uh, DAX were marginally up whereas the rest of the markets were marginally down. No major data points uh, from Eurozone. And uh, when we look at the Asian markets, uh, Japan is running up uh, and is up almost about 2.75% as yen has come down to almost about 101 level against the dollar which is at a 4 year low and even uh, there was some positive data point coming out from Japan wherein the trade surplus has come in at about 1.23 trillion yen versus about 633 billion yen in the previous month. So, that is definitely a big positive and uh, some of the export oriented companies like Toyota, Sony, uh, Honda, they are the ones which are doing exceptionally well in, well in the Japanese markets. And uh, uh, back home friends, uh, our own markets continue to show some kind of a consolidation around current levels of 6050 to about 6100 levels uh, on the back of some positive uh, results coming out from the PSU banks where there were concerns of NPL. So PNB, Union Bank of India, they came out with good set of numbers. At the same time, some of the uh, companies like Asian Paints and Jubilant Food Works, which have been reporting consistent numbers and which are quoting at a higher valuations, actually disappointed the street and they were down. Even companies like Sun Pharma and few other companies were down about uh, 2 to 3 percent uh, in yesterday's market. Uh, friends, in terms of flows, FIs were net bias in the cash market to the tune of about 640 crore. The domestic institutions were sellers in the cash market to the tune of 477 crore and in the index futures, FIs were biased to the tune of about 340 crore. Today there is going to be an important IIP data where the expectations are there, it's going to be about 2.1 to about 2.3 percent versus about 0.6 percent growth uh, that we saw in Feb. Uh, so it remains to be seen how the market reacts to that. Though the credibility or the influence of IIP to the market has reduced over a period of time. On that note, uh, let me invite Sadhna to take us through important f &O cues, data and strategies that we can have in the f markets. Good morning friends, let's have a view on derivatives. In spite of absence of any major cues, yesterday market started the session on lower note. And we have seen the short positions were built up at the, at the higher levels. As we have seen around 3.92 lakh shares were added in open interest and Nifty futures premium turned into a discount of 1.20 points from the premium of 5.75 points. And put call ratio also increased from 1.22 to 1.23 indicating put option has added good number of shares as compared to call option. It is clearly visible in the strikes of 5700, 5800 and followed by 5900. And we have seen that 6000 to 6100 call option as well as put option has seen a good number of accumulation. So going forward 6100 may act as a hurdle in the market. And we recommend to buy on dips and 6000 may act, a, may act as a good support in the market. From intraday perspective one can go long on FR, FRL with a stop loss of 150.80 and one can go short on Sun TV with a stop loss of 428.60. Thank you. Here are the important news and events that we are tracking today. First of all, companies which would be announcing numbers today, Apollo Tires, we are looking at a net profit of about 155.6 crore. Ashok Leyland, we are looking at a net profit of 103.6 crore. And in case of NTPC, we are looking at a net profit of about 2588.6 crore. Escorts came out with exceptionally good set of numbers and the net profit uh, grew at almost about 62% at about 37.47 crore versus about 23.6 crore in the previous year. So expect some positive reaction to escort stock in today's market. Government has approved the 10% stake in uh, the divestment in Coal India which would fetch close to about 17,000 crore. However, the mode and the pricing part is not clear as yet. But we have seen that whenever the government is announcing the divestment or, or stake sale, the stock tends to react because the pricing tends to be at a lower level. So because of this overhang, there could be some negative reaction in the coal India stock over the short term uh, time frame. And uh, for Reliance Industries, some positive news as a company chairman has submitted a plan for enhancing the KGD6 uh, basin output uh, by almost about 4 trillion cubic feet along with uh, BP. So this is uh, something uh, positive. So there could be some positive reaction to Reliance stock uh, in today's market. ILNFS transport, some positive news as the company has signed a pact with uh, NHAI 
for building a road project in Jharkhand to the tune of about 1665 crore. So one can go long on ILNFS transport with a stop loss of 172.5 and a target of about 181 to about 185. PVR, some positive news as the company has uh, tied up with uh, Hollywood uh, uh, films for distribution in the country. So one can go long on PVR with a stop loss of 346 and a target of about 364 to about 371. Jet Airways has decided to charge Rs. 250 per kg for baggage in excess of 15 kg. So there could be some better pricing for Jet Airways. So one can go long on Jet with a stop loss of 580 and a target of about 610 to about 622. Sipla, some negative news as Fair Trade Regulator has been probing the allegations of anti-competitive practices being followed by some of the pharma companies including Sipla. So one can go short there with a stop loss of 408 and a target of about 388 to about 380. That's it from all of us friends. Have a great weekend and see you on Monday morning.